Here are some lessons that I have learned from a millionaire. This past week, I went to a retreat and I was able to stay at the Ritz-Carlton, and it was such a beautiful experience. But there were certain patterns of behavior that I learned from a millionaire, and I wanted to share them with you so you can adapt them into your life and your business. The first lesson that I learned from a millionaire was self-care is not luxury, it's actually a necessity. In the event industry, self-care is usually not a priority. And what sucks is that you tend to serve your clients. But how often are you serving you? One of the CEOs I met on this retreat had stated self-care is maintenance. And I thought that was so mind-blowing because I a thousand percent agree with her. Because one thing is for sure, you have to take care of you. And you'll be able to serve your clients on a higher standard if you start implementing self-care. So just know it is not a luxury. It is a necessity to function as you grow and scale your business. The next lesson that I learned from a millionaire is it doesn't have to take long. What do I mean by that? Well, a common thought is that millionaires are so out of reach due to their success, but their lifestyle is proof of what we can all have. And to be honest, I was told that your success doesn't have to take long. And it's so true. In essence, we have to start thinking about that success is not a timeline just because something takes you a little longer doesn't mean it has to continue as you move forward so just trusting yourself take action and don't worry about when it will come because knowing that it will collapses times things that took maybe two years might take two months or two weeks or even two days so don't think that it has to take long and just trust that it will happen The next lesson that I learned from a millionaire is to detach your emotions from the outcome. Now, this was a game changer for me because I am an emotional creature. And if you're like me, we are emotional people, especially when it comes to your business. In fact, in my coaching program, all of my clients are very emotional about the decisions they have to make because it feels uncomfortable to them because they make their decisions about them, right? When you detach your emotions from any outcome and or any goal that you have, you'll be surprised at what comes about within your business. So here's a lesson. Allow your business the space to fail. And I use quotes around that because failing is just really tough lessons you just had to learn in order to continue to move forward with your business. And just keep going despite what's in front of you. I promise you this will be the game changer. This is when I detach the emotions from my business and things that took years took a couple of days. So just know that don't worry about the outcome and instead just continue to push forward and you'll be surprised at what comes about. The next lesson that I learned from a millionaire is if you're willing to listen, you'll make less mistakes. I think this is true 1000% and anybody who has a mentor and didn't listen to what they said, knowing that they made a huge mistake in their business, we're all guilty of it, right? I'm especially guilty of thinking that I know it all, especially when it comes to my business. But instead of thinking that what of what you're doing Ask for help, but be willing to receive the information. That is the biggest difference between asking for help and implying and asking for help and doing your own thing. I always tell my clients, you don't have to, you don't pay me to keep you small. Therefore, it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's just trust the process. Listen more than you speak, especially with the people who have your desire. Trust me. 
I will tell you this, that this is a hard truth because most of us think we know how to solve the things in our business. When in actuality, the people who have what you want know exactly how to solve the problem. So just listen. The next lesson that I learned from a millionaire is doing one small thing has a greater impact. Scaling a business can really seem very overwhelming. Some examples are like you have a huge to-do list, you have payroll to think about, your team, day-to-day operations, how to market and scale to clients all over the world, etc. The list goes on. What I have learned is that if you want huge results, you actually should be tackling one thing at a time. And if you just adapt a $1 million habit and master it, that will go further than trying to accomplish all the things that you need to do in your business. Now, I won't say that you have to neglect your to-do list and your day-to-day operations, but if you're trying to scale your business into the millions, you definitely want to think about adapting one good habit that's going to be a game changer, whether it's you as a CEO or for your business, and fully master it because that will have a greater impact. It's okay. Okay, thank you so much. All in all, all lessons are powerful, but the most powerful lessons that you learn are the ones you master and are receptive from the people you inspire to be. Take it from a millionaire. Every day they choose to attract and achieve their goals over and over again. So do the same and watch your life and business unfold in such a beautiful way. If you need some additional resources, I have them below. Until the next time, continue to design your dreams to reality and I'll see you next time.